Welcome back to another episode of Castaway Fishing UK. Today I'm fishing at a new venue I've never fished before. It's called Barmsden on the Holderness Coast. Beautiful venue. Very sandy. There's quite a few rocks and stuff around here. Well, stones I should say. They're not very not very big, but right inside there's like big boulders, big rocks. Uh, looks like some sort of a um, feature there, possibly when the tide comes in. I'm not going to be fishing it because it's going to be snag city there. On my other side, left hand side, it's all pretty much sandy. The surf is actually quite high considering it's a uh, neap tide. Neap tide's basically low tide where the tides are not very big. The wind is westerly. I put all the stats in the beginning. So I also want to mention to guys, uh, if you're watching my video and you want to know the places where I fish, the get downs. I'll try and put a postcode wherever I can. However, that's not always likely. So I will use what three words. A what three words is areas where the places are. So it's very accurate. I think it's accurate to three meter square. So you can get all the get downs and parking and everything else. Uh, might be useful for you guys that are coming into the sport new and want to know the areas for where I fish. It'll just be helpful for you guys. I won't release all my uh, places in the future because if somebody shares a location with me and they want to keep it a secret then I will respect that although the areas that I fish uh, I will obviously put those in the description also another thing I want to mention is last time I was fishing my video even though it was uploaded in 4k the quality seemed to deteriorate now I don't know what happened whether it's YouTube rendering my videos and then downgrading them but they were definitely recorded in 4k 30 frames per second and for some reason when it rendered uploaded to youtube the quality just was not as good uh, as i expected it to be so i'm going to play around hopefully see if i can render it a lot slower speed and hopefully that'll make a difference but anyway i'm going to set up now i'm going to try kite fishing today the wind's in the right direction it's not too strong and I also want to give a big shout out to Wade Steen. He's on YouTube. He's one of my subscribers. Pocket Chain Journal, I believe it's called. Again, I'll put it below. Thank you, Wade. I got your kites that you sent me. Uh, he's been very kind, sent me three kites. So I'm going to be using one of his kites. And without him sending them kites, to be fair, this video probably won't have gone up. Because uh, I'm a bit stuck at the moment trying to get hold of a few parts, bits and bobs. But... I'll get a hold of them all in good time. But yeah, I'm going to set up now. Never fished this venue before. And to be fair, I don't think I will get washed off because I've got a nice little cove behind me. Uh, the cliffs are not very big. Probably say about four meters high. Not that high at all. But you guys will see the videos once I take some aerial footage of where I am. But yeah, I'm not going to waffle on any longer. I'm going to get set up now. Um, I've already baited me rigs up with squid. Took me, ne I think next time I'll be freezing my baits with the hooks uh, all baited. So when I come, it's a lot more efficient, a lot quicker. So I'm not wasting time. Luckily, I did get here an hour before low tide. But now I think it's probably about an hour after high tide. Yeah, it's about an hour after high tide now. A couple of hours I've been, I've been uh, just getting set up. But yeah, I'm going to show you my rigs. So. Here it goes. I'm using a Penn Senator. Oh my God, I forgot what they call it now. Penn Senator, I think it's a 114. Uh, I'll put it in description anyway. Uh, I've got, I can't remember, I think about 50, 60 pound line. But I got, this time anyway, I got, I have got 20 hook rig. It's going to be a, <laughs> it's going to be quite a long, long, long rig. I mean, I don't know how long this is, but it must be about 10, 20 yards long, that rig. Again, same, my kite, kite line. All the, all the information's in the description with regards to my setup. I am using a different bottle because last time my other bottle smashed. Um, so I'm using just a normal one of these. It's going to fill up with sand and water. Uh, the release clip. This is the release clip. So release clip just you can adjust the tension on the release clip from here. 
and that goes like that and you can adjust like I says, adjust it from there and you just put your end of your fishing tackle uh, terminal end gear over there and then when you get it as far as that you want all you do is just pull it and that will then release and the lead will fall down wherever you want it this is going to be obviously on the kite line this is going to be on this bit here so that's that so my bait is already baited up with hooks i'm using different types of hooks i'm using four o's i'm using one o's i'm using two o's i'm using circle hooks i'm using straight j hooks yeah i've got squid i've got a bit of um uh, razor fish i've got blacks i've got lugs i've got all sorts going on there so i'm going to be using them and the kite is this one Oh, that's gone up straight away, that has. As you guys can see. No messing about. Put that drogue back there. Let's see if that makes any difference. Yeah, that's very good. I'll do that. I'll be able to get that up. Pretty much. Straight up. Proper wanting to go that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, that drogue is set right though. I've never used fight kite with a drogue on before, to be fair. Um, so, let's see what this is all about. Now the problem I've got is, is people walking, as you can see on the beach, and they're going to be walking with their dogs and with their families across. And this line, this line is going to be going below, and I don't want them to either walk into it or get tripped over. So I'm going to take all this stuff, get a bit closer to the beach, launch the kite from there, and then once all that's done, it's all good. Um, Oh no, no, don't you dare. <laughs> right, let's set you aside. I don't want any don't want any accidents. Not 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 today, not tomorrow. I'm just gonna put that there. Don't want it to fly away. Drag everything in. Filled up with sand and water, a bit of weight. Uh, my rig, 20 hook rig, is on the floor over here, all ready to go. Uh, my bait is over here, just going to bait up now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some of the heavy bait, bigger hooks I should say, more towards the, uh, sorry if I'm sniffling. It's, uh, yeah, the weather's a bit, what can I say, windy. So, yeah, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bait these hooks up now. Uh, if I could remember the right, I think these are the big hooks. No, it's not these ones. It's... I'll put you down there for now. It's you. 
and I've actually done something on my um, on my rig what I've done is I've put these snap swivels thank you Mark for that hint uh, my buddy Mark uh, he told me he said, oh why do you put these on it'll make it so much easier <laughs> yeah common sense really but I lack it sometimes thank you Mark for that tip so yeah a lot easier you just put it in and I don't care how, how strong these are because if I get a really big fish or if I get too much then I'd rather lose a hook than lose a whole whole lot of the rig so I'm gonna now bait these up I'm gonna come back to you because I don't want to bore you with all this putting all these hooks individually on all these all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these 20 or so hooks on watch out for any dogs I don't want any dogs coming around and munching uh, I'm here to catch fish not dogs so I'm keep an eye out it's quite beach anyway so I should be okay So, yeah, this is the kite, you guys can see, with the drug behind it, Boston Big Game Fishing Club, and this is the kite connection, my previous kite, I don't know if you guys can remember, my previous kite actually it snapped from these kite lines, and that goes to my reel. And that's a float in case that does go down, it doesn't sink, I can get it back at least. But, yeah. So I just need a nice little gust. Oh my gloves, oh gear. Oh, for <laughs> gloves. Again, got 200 pound of this line on. So not 200, 200 feet. Lovely, it's going so far. It's not got much of a pull compared to my previous kite that I had, which is good. That might be down to the wind. But yeah, I'm actually quite happy with that. I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna 
I think I'm going to pull this kite down, get my gloves on. <laughs> Took me eye off the ball there. This wind's perfect now. Not as windy as it was before. But need a bit more, a tiny bit more wind. Come on, rise. There we go. Got ya. Once I get up to about 200 feet, it's all good. Right, I'm at 100 feet. Hmm. Right. Oh, I can feel it now. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. You guys can see that now. It's caught some serious wind up there. I'm a bit paranoid about losing this kite. Yeah, I know. Paranoia. Right, so this bit here, now, let's see if I'm recording first of all. Yes, I'm recording. So I've got this bit up roughly just short of 200 feet. This is just going to connect to the bottle and also the release clip. goes there and there we go right now has the kite got enough power to pull this bottle along no it hasn't so I'll just tip some out You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. The kite parked up there, lovely. You can see. Just need to uh, just sort this out here.
and I can always top it up if I need some more water. There we go. That will work because once that's on water, it will, it will go out. But there we go. Yeah, you. I think I need a bit more force because I need to pull it, to pull it, pull the bait out as well. Now the release clip. Show you guys how I use the release clip. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering like how would he get that rig on? Clean all that. And then what you do is hold the tank, pull this out, and then put this through. Whichever one you want, doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Any one of them will do. Pull it in. And let's put that mark there. Right, I'm all ready to go now. What I need to do is make sure This is fine, which it is. There it goes. Going out nice. I'm gonna stand here. Just guide it out slowly. It's going more towards my right. It's okay. Very, very slowly. Well, problem is now the wind has changed. It's gone more towards west, west and south, which means my fishing gear is ending up where those guys are fishing over there. Not good. So I'm not gonna let any more line out. I'm gonna probably head back.
Unfortunately, suddenly the wind changed when retrieving the kite, forcing it further south onto the beach. At this point, I panicked and I realised I was very close to the fisherman further down the beach and I had a feeling he was snagged into my line. So I ran to check to see if I had caused any issues. Sadly, my kite caused a massive tangle with the fisherman. There we go. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry? Oh yeah, thanks. So I dropped my glove on the floor, which I picked up, managed to untangle all the mess that was caused. You might be able to work out in the back there, the bait is still attached to the release clip. For some reason, the release clip did not release. And this caused me issues later on when I was packing everything away. I must have lost about 150 yards of braid. There was a massive, massive tangle. Now, if you look at the back of the kite, you'll be able to see all the bait trailing behind the kite. That's one lesson learned. Next time I attach anything to the release clip, I need to make sure it's on the right resistance setting. Also, because the release clip didn't release, I didn't manage to fish because the bait didn't hit the bottom of the seabed. At this point, I also realised that the conditions were not right and decided to call it a day and pack up. I did bring my other rods with me, but I didn't bother fishing with them and instead met a few fishermen who had seen my videos and had a good natter. It was really nice to meet you guys. As this method is new to me and still in its infant stages, I am still perfecting it. I'm not going to give up as yet. I'm still going to keep on trying. Also, I want to say if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. And if you've not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and tight lines.